This video will review an original research article from the Journal of Clinical Pathology titled Cystic Neutrophilic Granulomatous Mastitis, Sensitivity and Specificity of 16S Ribosomal RNA and Sanger Sequencing for Coronary Bacterium Species. This article is related to the entity of Cystic Neutrophilic Granulomatous Mastitis, abbreviated to CNGM. CNGM is a subtype of granulomatous mastitis that is characterized by the presence of three features, which are, first, lipid vacuoles appearing as cystic spaces that are, second, lined with neutrophils, and third, surrounded by a cuff of epithelioid histiocytes representing granulomatous inflammation, in which you may also see other signs of granulomatous inflammation, such as multinucleated Langhans-type giant cells. However, there are no universally accepted diagnostic criteria for CNGM, and its features can overlap with other types of granulomatous mastitis. It has been postulated that coronary bacterium infection plays a causal role in CNGM, as rod-shaped gram-positive bacilli may be visualized in some cases within cystic spaces and infection confirmed via culture and sequencing methods. However, not all cases of CNGM are associated with coronary bacterial infection, and coronary bacterium has also been found in cases of granulomatous mastitis without features of CNGM. Due to the fastidious nature of coronary bacterium and a lack of a standard reference method for its identification in cases of granulomatous mastitis, it is unclear whether coronary bacterium infection should be considered a diagnostic criterion of CNGM and how to best identify coronary bacterium infection when it is present. Therefore, the original research study performed by Yang et al. and published online first in the Journal of Clinical Pathology aimed to first, compare the clinical pathological features of CNGM and non-CNGM cases to determine if there are any significant differences among these diagnoses, and second, to determine the sensitivity and specificity of methods to identify coronary bacterial infection in these cases. The authors achieved this by retrospectively identifying breast specimens with the diagnosis of granulomatous inflammation and selecting specimens with H and E stained slides available for review. These cases were then reviewed by multiple pathologists to reach a consensus on whether each case had any of the three histological features of CNGM. Based on consensus, the cases were assigned to one of three groups. If all three features were present, the case was bucketed in the CNGM group. If one to two features were present, the case was bucketed in the non-CNGM group. And if none of these features were present, they were excluded from the study. The CNGM and non-CNGM cases were then compared regarding their clinical presentation, microbiology studies, treatment, and outcomes. Regarding the first aim of this study, Yang et al. found that, though the CNGM cohort was significantly more associated with multiparity breastfeeding and larger breast masses with spontaneous discharge and skin irritation, there were no significant differences in the rate of coronary bacteria positivity or clinical outcomes between the cohorts. However, poor clinical outcomes were associated with coronary bacterium infection highlighting the need for efficient diagnosis and appropriate treatment in these cases. This relates directly to the second aim of this paper, which was to determine the sensitivity and specificity of gram stain and 16S ribosomal RNA-PCR, followed by Sanger sequencing, compared to the gold standard method of microbial culture. Yang et al. found that PCR followed by sequencing outperformed gram staining in terms of specificity, However, the low sensitivity of this method makes it a poor candidate for routine diagnosis, though the sensitivity of gram stain was also found to be fairly low as well. Overall, the key points of this study suggest that distinctions between CNGM and other forms of granulomatous mastitis may be clinically irrelevant, as poor outcomes were associated with coronary bacterial infection regardless of histological subtype. As a result, if there is strong suspicion for an infectious etiology, regardless of gram stain results, the authors suggest pursuing 16S ribosomal RNA-PCR combined with sequencing 
in addition to microbial culture, to maximize chances of identifying fastidious species such as Corony bacterium, and thus to initiate appropriate treatment. To read this article in full, please visit the latest content of the Journal of Clinical Pathology, where it was published online first on January 25, 2023.